All right, folks, welcome back. It's 1.30 p.m. Uh, Tuesday, the 3rd of January. It's a very nice, pleasant, uh, the last couple few days have been very nice and pleasant. Uh, just a, a balmy, if that makes any sense, feel in the air. Um, it's all going to be over by about 5 p.m. this evening. I'm looking at uh, three days of snow. The worst report I've seen as far as total accumulation for the next few days is not great. It's up near as a foot, which is more than uh, able to be handled within a three-day stretch. So we'll see what happens. Okay, uh, I've kind of been rocking and rolling here today. The last on my little uh, honey to-do list here this afternoon is just stockpile some hay and straw inside the barn, and that takes me about a total of about 20 minutes. So I figured I'd stop, take a little break, and show you what we got going here. Um, I did some stockpiling here today. I uh, brought in four bales of, uh, you know, dry hay. I finished off the first crop, sorghum line. Uh, you're seeing three bales of my egg shape uh, <laughs> alfalfa. The rest of that is uh, sorghum. You're seeing a little surface mold here. I, I got near the uh, the end of my lines. Uh, there is a, a change that I'm making this year, which this year coming up, which used to be normal for me. Um, and that is starting off and finishing these wrapped lines with two, in a perfect world, two four by five bales instead of the plastic end caps. <clears throat> this year I predominantly use the end caps because I got a little fancy about four or five years ago and I bought a box for a King's Ransom. Well, I'd stopped using them and I looked at them here this past spring. I'm like, you know what? This is a god-awful shame. I need to finish them up. Um, I, you know, we all have our own preference. I, I, I don't care for the end caps. I hate like hell that I'm using four bales of hay per line, but boo-hoo, it's not like that hay can't be fed out. So anyway, small little changes coming here for this year, and uh, we'll go from there. So I got a nice little stockpile here, lasts me a little bit. You know, I'm still doing, uh, still doing corn silage. Uh, I've got a ridiculous amount left than <laughs> what I had proposed that I had. Um, truth of the matter is I have two more doors to go and then the silo basement I'm using my lingo here uh, comes down to that that's, that's about a total of four doors and if I watch my feed if I just ship out those medium loads uh, I can do a door a week so basically that means I've got I've got the entire month of January here on silage. Now, if cold weather, frigid cold weather and frozen silage says that that's not going to happen, I'm simply going to shut it down for the winter. And uh, the eagles are back, by the way. It's a beautiful sight and sound. Um, I'm going to simply shut it down and open it back up in April. And uh, go from there. We're gonna take it. Uh, we're gonna take the corn silage day by day. Uh, I'm just extremely very happy that it's there. And uh, the amount of savings, if I can even say that word, in uh, round bales of hay, having that silage is just crazy. Okay. Welcome to somewhat of a meek heifer-lot this winter. Um, oh, I'm going to play a fool here. I ain't got my paperwork on me, I know. I've got about 24, 25 head in here, I believe. They're not all heifers. Yeah, that's that's a, a green tag steer right there. The way I figure it, as we speak, I've got about 21 or 22 legitimate kept back of size, condition, growth, genetics, and everything else. 
kept back heifers for this spring, this year coming up. If that stands to be true, cattle just went on a little stampede there. I need to go check that out as soon as this video is done because they're all looking over there. Load up the 22 mag and take a look. Sorry about that, folks. If that stands to be true, I look to keep 10 and only 10 for myself as far as replacements. The rest will be offered up for sale. If you keep up with the channel, I started taking that on last year. Bread heifers and open heifers and bulls. I am very proud and pleased how it went. Very proud. <coughs> I am making a change though. I have decided not to offer up any bred heifers any longer. It'll just be opens. Uh, you know, we're running a little business here, folks. You know, if we had to actually talk about financials, <laughs> which doesn't even make sense to even talk about those. Um, when it comes down to it, me here, here where I'm from, I know there's some years they're going to get fancy and say you need to ship. No, no. I can't get what's normal. Like this morning, I sat down, you know, with some coffee and I caught the latest Corbett Wall Cattle Market Summary Report. Oh, those cows are perturbed. Something's going on back there. Um, and he uh, he actually went through a list of some uh, bred heifer and uh, younger bred cow sales. And uh, I respect the numbers. I think they're fantastic. I can't get that here on what I'm going to call a private, private ordeal. Cows are going stupid. I'm sorry. I keep fumbling this video but there's there, there's I've got a problem hey no no uh-uh 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 no 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 we're gonna settle down we're all gonna settle down Ben's getting out of here. I was a betting man and I'm not. There's some varmints of some sort on the uh, Kutha property. If you watch the channel, you know what I'm talking about. <coughs> I'm not gonna say it's me. Cows aren't going to do that way back there with me in the heifer lot. And uh, they got them stirred up. So I'm just going to kind of get out of here a little bit. Um, free choice mineral at all time. No grain rations. <clears throat> no grain to this heifer lot this year. It's a, uh, it's a way of me cheaping up the expenses just a little bit without cheating the animals or the farm. They're getting pure forms of alfalfa in high moisture and dry. And uh, we're going to see how that goes. Half of me wants to race this video. I'm gonna go ahead and post it anyway. Look at that, calls are going stupid. They're going absolutely stupid. Half of me wants to erase the video, but I'm gonna go ahead and post this anyway. Folks, we're gonna have a very, uh, a very nice calm look at the heifer lot again <coughs> in time to come. 
Right now I'm gonna go grab a little bit of firepower and go for a little scoot on the gator. We're gonna talk to you sooner and later. Sorry about the nonsense.